Hey guys, welcome back. This is part 5 of Fallout 4. We are in 114 right now, the vault that's inside the subway station, underground, Boston. Do not walk on the fire. It kind of hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly walk through it. Okay, is there any kind of gear I can pick up here? What's that? No. Doesn't look like it. This vault is so odd. It looks so shitty. Oh, damn. Everybody else seen him, yeah? <laughs> Okay, let's let's see. What do I have? Short. Uh, okay. What? Come on! Damn it! So many people down there. Damn, that was a good shot. Okay, I think there's only this one guy, so let's charge him. Oh! How did that... Stop shooting my dog! I'm kind of afraid to go down here. I don't know why. Eh! Let me in, let me in. Oh, I'll find. It's critical strike on him. That's excellent. I love that ability. Kill him! Yes! Good on you, dog meat. What a dumbass, eh? Cedar ball bat. Okay, that's that's gonna be a pretty strong one. Okay, anybody in here? I'm gonna take that light bulb. I know you think I'm crazy with the hoarding and stuff. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm not going down there yet. Free war money bobby pin box. Any other stuff? Okay, let's heal up before we go down there. Um, doesn't really matter what we eat. I don't really care. Okay, we're, we're healing up anyway. We'll just be a minute before we drop down in there. Alright, okay. We should be healed up. Okay, that's just another entry point into this place. I don't know if I want to drop down, do I? Damn. <laughs> Vaporized. Crippled him. Okay. Jesus, that's a lot of gore. Anybody else? No? Yeah, I didn't think you want to try it after that. Is there any more information on this vault, I wonder? Sorry, guys, if you don't really... Yeah, that's science stuff. The same one that we read already. Um, there's nothing in the the lockers. Yeah, I, I always read like the terminals. I want to find out like way like loads of information about the vaults. I suppose that's my um, my one thing that I do with Fallout. I really try and delve into the lore. Cause what is this world if we don't know the story? An awesome one. That's fun. <laughs> Fuse, excellent. Okay. I'm guessing there's a few enemies around this place. Purified water. Damn, we're taking a lot of that stuff in. This rifle is amazing. I really want to like upgrade it so that I can really like put the shits up the enemies. So I can have like really high range and stuff. How you doing in there, Valentine? I'm gonna quick save Rudy. Really. 
Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy, cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Not tight. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. What the? I think he heard me. Oh, no, don't miss, don't miss. Fuck. Shit, one more bullet. That's it. You're done, Dino. There's more people charging up the stairs, I think. Oh no, that's just my dog. Okay, that's fine. Hey you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open! <laughs> no. Okay, how are, how are we gonna get him out? Shit. We have the, the vault key, don't we? Hack that terminal to open up this door. Oh, this one. Okay, that's fine. All right, all right. Come on, we're opening up this door. Use the terminal password. There you go. Take number. 998. Please wait until your number is called. Override door controls. There you go. Come on out, Nick Valentine. Whoa, what is up with his eyes? Is he a ghoul? No, ah, he's, he's one of those synths. Knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot my wife. Took my son. I don't even have a clue who he is or, or where he's gone. So, you need a little angel of vengeance, huh? Well, I don't usually go after blood money, but I guess I can make an exception. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Awesome. Okay, so th this guy's gonna help us find Sean. Uh, I'm gonna take used to be random shit from this place. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger guys. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Hell yeah. Awesome. We got ourselves a first ever freaking vault boy or pip boy or I don't, I don't even care right now as a vault boy <laughs> freaking out right now is there anything good in this office there's nothing a vase that's about it oh dude heads up come here come here need to give you some shit <laughs> this always takes up so much time um i'll give you my vault suit actually It's just so I, I don't have too much. Okay, let's uh, let's see what's on the overseer's terminal. Is there much? Welcome, employees. I hope this message finds you'll be well and move into your new position has been an easy transition. Your appointment as overseer came with high recommendations from our interviews interviewers, and we hope will be a perfect fit that everyone believes to be you to be. Please do not be nervous. Vault Titan management. Okay. I feel so sorry for this guy because uh, who's he probably didn't have a clue about the social experiments. All right, come on, Nick Valentine. Let's get out of here, man. I bet they're going to come in busting in the door. I really want to jump down there. I wonder, can we? Yeah, I think we are going down that way. That's cool. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? His only job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey. Oh, there's a load of trigger men. <laughs> oh, 
down, lay down. Okay, I better heal up. Sorry anybody who's like, ah, oh, fucking hell, this guy, he, he does this stuff way too much. Uh, one more thing. Dirty water, I'm not too... There we go. That'll heal us up nice and quick. I just seen a skeleton in a closet. That's that's pretty smart. <laughs> just want to see if there's any more loot. Lavatory. A Braxo cleaner. Why do I need that shit, man? This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. All right, give it a go. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Yes, exit zone. Right into the exit zone. <laughs> squeaky, squeak, squeak. What the? Lights out! Oh dear. You're going down, son. That vat isn't as reliable as it used to be, I think. Red baseball bat. Nothing Wanna take fine. it? Who's there? Seeing things? Where? Heads up. I'm gonna give him more weapons. Fuck. <laughs> he become over encumbered way too easily. I need to uh, make sure that I upgrade my strength so I can carry more. Okay, there we go. Jeez, it. There ain't nothing here. Right, hold on, there might be more shit in here. Which one of you mugs said you saw something? Oh no, what? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. Get out of my way, dog meat. Dude, or Nick. Go for the head, go for the head. Make it, it boom. Oh, that crippled him. Oh, oh, oh damn. Oh, nobody is gonna recognize you. Grab anything you can. Any more good stuff in here? This is a bowler hat. That's pretty cool. See what this guy has. I do an awful lot of, uh, of looting. Oh, there has to be some good stuff here. Salisbury steak. Oh, nice. Oh, there's aluminum cans or tin cans. Glass pitchers. Nah. Any good stuff up here? No. Oh man. Okay, that's, that's me good for a long time. Oh, some beer. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. Dog, get out of my way. Come on. More stairs. Fitness instructor. Yeah. <laughs> Run and don't come back. I 
have to come back here. Honestly, there's too much stuff. No way I could pick this. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. All right, let's get out of here. We're so close now. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready. He's saying get ready for anything. Oh shit. Okay. Um, aid. Let's get those fancy snacks going. We'll get that grilled rad stag. Be for anything. And let's quick save. So why the hell not? My guess is a super mutant, one of those behemoths. That's... I'm calling it now, guys. That'd be so crazy to actually fight so earlier on in the game, even though we don't have a fat man. Fat man, for anybody who doesn't know, is one of those massive... Well, they're not really massive, they're like a huge rocket launcher. Oh shit. House, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't... Yeah, I do. Jeez, he was tough. daughter bit the big one. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. I really didn't want to listen to them fucking blab on. <laughs> I just really wanted to, like, screw them up. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any more of their men anyway. This is the area that we, we cleared out when we came in. Never opened this door. Oh, there's a serv- Is that the service ladder? Back bay. I hope this is the one he was talking about. I love Molotov cocktails. I'm going to be making them all the time. <laughs> oh my god, that was so handy for ambushes. Okay, okay. We're out of here. Is this where we're supposed to go? Man, it's glowing. Okay. Nick. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? I have my ways. Really? <laughs> well, I'm glad those ways included shooting down mobsters. Wasn't looking forward to haunting that place. Now, you mentioned something about tracking down a murderer and how he took your son. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. All right, Nick. Come on. Let's get back to Boston. It's going to be a little while of a journey there, but at least uh, he's here to kind of protect us. All right, we arrived in Boston. I don't know if Nick's gonna be here just yet, so we might have to uh, get ourselves a hotel room and sleep until yeah, he does appear. So let's have a look anyway. I, I'm not too sure. I don't even know where I could go for uh, a motel. But we'll check out his place first anyway. So it's not too bad when you're going like in and out of these kind of places, like the buildings kind of like... Allie? Fairly Are open you here? Quick enough. Nick? Oh. oh God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to 
back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. About my reward. They always gotta ruin the moment with money talk. Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right. Calm down. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, Scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Awesome, okay, so we find out some information as to the whereabouts of Sean. So this is quite awesome. We're progressing on with the story a little bit more. Oh, there's a nice little bed there. I, I can't actually use that for myself. I just want to have a little snoop up here. It says I can take it instead of stealing it, which is quite odd. Does that mean Nick's my my companion? Yeah, look, I can just take. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna leave this part here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, I know it's kind of a shorter episode, but um, it's kind of late here at the moment, and I want to kind of get off Fallout because it's, it's ruining my life. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for part six very soon. Take care, all, and goodbye. <laughs>